at this in Calcutta called the Gateway. It was a symposium by the government of West Bengal. And I found a very despondent Bengal. Though I am a Bengali, but we have never lived in Bengal so much. We have been what is called as Probachi Bangali, which is lived outside Bengal. Uh, but I went back and I, I sensed two things. One is that this is a very despondent place. It needs some energy. There was nothing called energy in, in that entire place. And secondly, there would be no competition if I worked here. Which for a startup guy is very healthy, which is very interesting. Which means if you want to do idea stuff, something which is novelty driven, nobody come and eat here. You do it in Bangalore, there will be 20 of them within the next four hours. And I wanted space. I didn't want that. So which is why where my concept of I and I came in, which is creating infrastructure and institution for the IT industry. So that was the way I started the first and you know there was a very interesting story about how this was named Infinity because my advertising agency who was with me in BCL came he said uh, they called me BDG you know in this industry so I said BDG your project can only have one name which is Infinity there cannot be any other name because every time I give a name you change it you said no no this is looking limited this is not opening up more so we created the first IT park in India much, much before what you see in Bangalore um, and called it Infinity. It is still there. Uh, I built one more after that. And, uh, and then we built... Uh, Infinity was a uh, vision for infrastructure. I traveled around the world, especially in Germany, and understood control systems, understood intelligent devices. I went around the world. I went to America. I, uh, I really studied there with some people who had done building intelligence and to me it was all client server architecture so I just wanted to uh, have a server in the building and create clients and then connect them up. Those days it was a wired place not a wireless place. So we built that and everything was handled through a single card, single smart card. I'm talking 95, 1995. So today's youngsters sitting here will say what is the big deal? But those days, it was a big deal. It was not that easy, and people had not come out. And Infinity was created in four years. I had a lot of problem in Infinity because um, the real estate people were selling a 600 rupees product for 2,500, and I was selling an 1,800 rupees product for 2,200. They wanted to kill me. I'm not joking. So there were cartels. This, this guy, if he succeeds, end of story for us. And I was not a real estate guy. I was trying to build an aspiration. I wanted to create a space for IT people. And I was making money. It's not that I was not making money. But uh, the idea was, drive was different. But anyway, I went through this. Some well wishes came my way. And that's a big story again offline. So I don't want to get into it. So. Techno Campus, that's my name for uh, the school, was IBM Center for Software Excellence. And that was built on a three acre campus. And I came out with this product called YSM, Young Software Manager. That time I had dreamt and visualized that uh, technology and management is going to merge. Nobody believed me. He said, Are you mad? A techie is a techie, a manager is a manager, like what US taught us. You know, manager is a different guy from a techie. I said, no, in India, is they're going to merge. You cannot do technology without your understanding of management, and you cannot be a manager unless you understand technology. Just give me five, six years, you'll see that will happen in India. So my stand is vindicated now, and I'm giving one more vision statement right now, which is again a business I do. I am giving a vision statement and which Goksin has already started, which is education and skills are going to merge. You cannot be educated without skills and you can't be a skilled guy unless you are educated. So give another five years, education and skills will merge and luckily for Goksin we are in both education and skills. So I think we are a very nicely positioned to take that challenge up, but that's a different story. So this was 
Techno Campus. We created YSM, Young Software Manager. YSM today is running the 29th batch. And it is a six month full time course only for computer engineers. Before computer engineering, private came in 98. It was for all non like all me mechanical, electrical, civil, metallurgy guys because that time those were the guys who were getting into IT. But when computer engineering and computer science and information technology came into private engineering colleges, uh, then we started it only for um, computer engineering students, and we now run seven programs around the year: summer school, winter school. We train about. Uh, 250 engineering college students and train approximately around 20 to 25,000 computer engineers every year and they get hired by IT companies uh, immediately after their placement. Their, uh, companies like IBM, they only take in people after your globes in training. Uh, so they have the appointment ever says that in many cases. So I think this has been something we have been for 17, 18 years. This has been our very old uh, exercise that's how the company started so that was techno campus for you then we have a pedagogy while this is taught we have a pedagogy which is which was uh, conceptualized by me which was which says uh, let me see whether I don't know whether you guys will remember this it's called acquisition it's it's a it's a model which is called uh, AMP which is acquisition application managing and performing let me just go through it again uh, because many of you are in the IT line here. Acquisition of knowledge, suppose it's Java, you acquire the knowledge of Java, you apply the knowledge of Java, you manage Java, and you perform on Java. If these four things are embedded into the curriculum, there is no way you will not get a job. Today, most of the training programs do just acquisition and stop there. So you don't know Java, I know Java. That's all what is taught. So, that doesn't help you for a software company. It might help you for a non-IT company sitting in a computer desk and doing something, but it doesn't help for an IT company. An IT company basically are project management companies, so they require, as per me, they require AAMP. So, which is why the YSMs are so different than, and that is why 29th batch. I mean, it's still in demand, usually in demand. We have broken that up to summer schools and winter schools now. And it's, it's a big uh, jamboree which happens in there, over 250 engineering colleges, so you can imagine. It's a very large number of students uh, which go through this program under this pedagogy. This is the YSM, one of its kind. I just spoke about it. Then came, then came 2001, 2002. I mean, uh, I was going great guns, I was a great guy. Will's filter was back on my lips and I could kill the world and I can do anything, I can do no wrong. And then I was hit by this downturn and the IT meltdown and this time I really crashed. I mean, this, was, this was a time when US crashed, if you remember, uh, Infosys and others froze salaries and froze jobs. And we were right at that phase. Absolutely it came down, crashing. All my businesses crashed. That was a time where when I decided to take the company public and I withdrew the public issue 15 days before the IPO announcement after spending all the money for marketing. And uh, I, I, I did not sleep one night before I came back deciding to get out of the IPO. I had an offer from a broker who gave me a check of four crores in my personal name to say, Biriji, here is four crores, submit it and you will be listed tomorrow. So I told him, why is the check in my name? He said, it's a loan. I said, what's the interest? He said, 3% a month. I said, I don't want to be a slave for an entire period of my life. I'm sorry, I'm happy. He said, do you know what you're doing? BDG, you have 25 years reputation, we'll go for a task, people will come to know. I said, I'll build again, but I want to sleep in the night. I, I will not be able to live because I can't pay you this money and 3% per month at, at that 4 crores level, I don't need an IPO. 
I'm very proud to say that I did that, did that decision. 